In this video, we are going to discuss the use of phenylethyl alcohol auger, or PEA auger. PEA auger is a light, tan, clear auger that looks almost indistinguishable from nutrient auger. They look very, very similar. And because of that, we normally put a small blue or black line on our PEA plates so that you can tell them apart from nutrient auger. PEA is selective only. There are no differential qualities to this auger, but they are highly selective, and they select four gram-positive organisms. So only gram-positives can grow on a PEA plate. The PEA plate contains phenylethyl alcohol, which inhibits the DNA synthesis of gram-negative bacteria, and that's what filters gram-negatives out. So you would never put a gram-negative bacteria on PEA. Instead, we use this for a lot of our gram-positives, especially our staphs, like Staph aureus or Staph epidermidis, and Bacillus megatherium. <clears throat> the streps generally do not grow very well on PEA because the streps are fastidious organisms that typically need some extra nutrients, some extra enrichment in order to grow. So this PEA is not used a whole lot for the streps. Here you can see Staph aureus growing on a PEA plate. You can see it grows very well. You can clearly see the colonies. This is a really good, useful auger for isolating, growing, and maintaining your gram positives. I do want to note that if you take a lot of a gram negative, if you take a big swipe of a gram negative and put it on a PEA plate, or really any of our other selective plates, you may see a small amount of growth. This is not uncommon. When we pick up bacteria from a nutrient auger plate where they are growing really well, they still are continuing to grow when we put them onto a selective auger. But when they try to utilize the nutrients that are there, they are unable to do so. So when you compare a, an organism that isn't supposed to grow on a selective, au or, um, a selective auger with one that is, you can clearly see a big, big difference in growth. 